This is the Philips Sonicare Protective Clean 5100. I've been testing it for a few weeks now and I'm here to give you my opinions on it. Now the first thing to let you know, there is a full written review that accompanies this video. It goes into a lot more detail. Click the link in the description to view that. So overall, I've been very impressed with the Protective Clean 5100. It does a great job at cleaning the teeth. It feels good in the hand. It looks good. It's got a nice array of cleaning modes. The only problem is the price, and I'll explain why in just a moment. So the 5100, made by Sonicare, you can expect good quality. It feels good in hand. It's solid. I've got the black color option here. It's one of four different color options available at the time of review. The uh, matte kind of finish to the paint job uh, feels good in hand, it's not particularly slippery which is uh, impressive considering the lack of gripping points on this brush. There are three cleaning modes, you've got clean, white and gum care, they last for 2 minutes, 2 minutes 30 seconds and 3 minutes respectively. You've got a single power button to turn the brush on and you have a cleaning mode button which you press to cycle through each of the three cleaning modes. There's a white LED that lights up just above each uh, mode on the brush handle to make it clear which mode you're actually in. At the end of any cleaning mode the brush will automatically turn itself off which is a nice way of conserving power. So you have a timer built in that runs for the length of the cleaning modes and at 30 second intervals you have the pacer kick in which encourages you to clean your mouth evenly. Also built into the brush is a pressure sensor and what that does is change the brushing sensation through the brush head and creates a vibration through the brush handle as well as illuminating an LED on the front of the brush handle here. It's to make you aware that you're brushing too hard, relieve that pressure to stop doing any damage to your teeth and gums. A particularly unique feature about this brush is something called brush sync technology. You've got an icon on the front of the brush handle here which will light up an amber colour when the brush head is due for replacement. So it's a replacement reminder service for your brush head and it manages to do that by an RFID chip which built into the specialist brush heads that come provided with the 5100. Now these smart brush heads are very clever and I think it's a very nice touch to stop you using your brush head for longer than you really should and the clear amber light makes it really clear when you should indeed change that brush head. In the box with the 5100 you get one W2 optimal white brush head as you see here and you also get one G2 gum care brush head as well. So they're all interchangeable and there are an array of different brush heads that do work with the 5100. So you can check out Sonia's Care's range of brush heads and pick the one most suitable for you. Built into the brush handle is a lithium ion battery, which Sonicare claim has a battery life of two weeks. Um, they're wrong, it lasts for a lot, lot longer. I've been very impressed with the battery life from the 5100. Even on gum care mode, which lasts for three minutes, I managed just shy of three weeks. And on the standard clean mode, I managed a whopping five weeks. So well done, Sonicare, but you're really under uh, selling the power of the 5100 and its battery life. It does have a battery status icon which gives you some feedback and it takes 24 hours to charge the brush fully on the charging stand that comes provided in the box. You also get a travel case which will hold the brush handle and up to two brush heads to protect it when you're traveling. It's a nice addition. So the clean overall as you'd expect is very good being Sonicare. There's always argument between Sonicare and Oral-B over the size of the brush heads. Yes, Sonicare is slightly larger. I do personally find it hard to get to the very back teeth, but I have to say overall the clean provided by this brush is excellent and uh, I can't really say it's better or worse than uh, an Oral-B um, unit in my opinion. Now to the sticking point, the price. The recommended retail price of this brush is a whopping £280. Yes, £280. Do not pay that price. It's not worth it. There are much better buyers available on the market. But the UK market, in particular with electric toothbrushes, quickly changes several weeks after launch and expect to see this uh, brush selling from somewhere between £110 to £140. That's 50 to 60% off retail price. Now that's quite common in the market and even at £110 the 5100 is perhaps slightly expensive when you consider the competition. Um, if you take the likes of the Oral-B Smart 4 4000 you can pick it up for roughly half that price. Now both brushes have their pros and cons and the 5100 is very good, I've been very impressed with it. If you found this review helpful uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. 
For more videos like this, click subscribe. And of course, there's a full written review that accompanies this video. Click the link in the description. But until next time, thanks for watching.